The gateway drug, as I like to call it for Redis, is caching. We, we see a lot of that. People say, well, you know, it's a cache server. And I run into a lot of people say, well, what is Redis other than a cache server? So people start with using it as cache. Uh, you know, you cache your MySQL query before you, you display it to your users on the web page so that your next web page is, is faster. And you get started there and then you begin to realize, wait, I've got Redis and I can do these other things. Probably like go-to one is people always talk about it as a session store. Um, so using it for, you know, page caching, full page caching, session caching uh, is probably one of the main use cases for Redis. Uh, some of the things that people don't think to use it for are like queue workers. So like for Ruby, you have rescue out there, um, but you can just make your own pub sub queue with Redis too. Uh, as well, it does excellent uh, work with counters. So like if you're trying to make like a leaderboard for a gaming or something, uh, Redis is a perfect fit for that and it's super blazing fast to do that with. So Redis is actually one of my favorite pieces of technology because it's the only piece of technology I've used in a long time that fulfills on all the promises. Redis says, hey, I can handle 50,000 or 100,000 ops per second and it can do that no matter how hard we're stressing it. A very fast key value store, um, that's the, the most obvious one. In general, what we see is that, you know, um, real-time analytics is, is great for Redis. Um, job management, of course, is one of the favorite uh, use cases. Geo search, leaderboard, simple caching. Great about Redis is that it's, it's really pretty simple, and that leads to a very stable solution. That's, people love that. Um, the simplicity also means that you can you know, use it for like a whole bunch of different things. I use Redis for pretty much everything that I can unless it literally won't work. 